A New Hampshire guardswoman will now be allowed to bring her spouse to a family military program this weekend. The same-sex couple was going to be excluded because of federal regulations, but now word from top brass that all families are welcome. Gene Mackin joins us live with that story. Well, Defense Secretary Leon Panetta had to step in and clarify the policy. Now this couple from Rye can go to the National Guard event as a family. Office Current officer Charlie Morgan was deployed to Kuwait. She knew her family fell under the don't ask, don't tell policy. During the deployment, I had pictures of my daughter up everywhere, but none of Karen because I, I couldn't. I wasn't allowed to do that. Um, but I did have a family photo that I kept off to the side where nobody could see it. She enlisted in the Army in 1982 and now serves in the New Hampshire Army National Guard. When the don't ask, don't tell policy was revoked this year, it was a relief for Charlie and Karen, her civil union spouse of 11 years. But then the Morgans learned federal rules would not allow Karen to attend a reintegration program in North Conway this weekend to help returning soldiers and their families. I was really looking forward to bringing her so that we could go through the... Uh, you know, the, the spousal support together. That's when Senator Jean Shaheen contacted Defense Secretary Leon Panetta. Gay and lesbian couples should not have to apply for a special waiver um, to get the same services and to be able to participate in the same programs. Now the Defense Department says gay and lesbian service members can designate any one person, regardless of relationship, to join them at an event like this. It was a really wonderful feeling to know they went that far to make sure she could come. I felt valued. I really feel valued. I'm so proud of all of them for what they've done. And, um, you know, just to be able to go and, and show that support means a lot. This is not the only battle Charlie Morgan has faced. She fought breast cancer in 2008, continued to serve, and recently discovered a lump. It was cancerous, and a new fight is about to begin. We have really learned to take each day as it comes and try to be good people and do good work and, and just try to be the best that we can. And the Morgans are converting their civil union into a marriage, while Senator Jean Shaheen is co-sponsoring a bill to repeal the Defense of Marriage Act and says the Respect for Marriage Act would grant same-sex couples with recognized marriages in states like New Hampshire equal treatment under federal law. Reporting live, Jean Mackin, WMUR News 9. All right, now a couple of